How's it going guys? I uh, just wanted to come at you real quick with a little tips and tricks video kind of about making the jump from Xbox to PC uh, whether that be for uh, gaming or for streaming or whatever. Um, this is just a way that you can really maximize your Xbox equipment with your PC. So if you made the jump to PC or you're thinking about it, a lot of PCs have a mic port and a headphone port and a lot of our xbox headsets are not compatible with that if you want uh, it'll either be it's a mic or it's a headset it's never both um unless you get like a little two-pronged splitter or whatever they're not expensive not hard to get but this is kind of a way to do it without having to spend any kind of money and then it also gives you access to using your xbox controller the whole time um it's kind of a really simple easy trick um it's just plugging in your Xbox controller into your PC, and then it lets you access your Xbox headset, uh, because I know a lot of people, I mean, I don't have a lot of money into that one, but I have quite a bit into my um, Steel Series here. A lot of people spend a lot of money on their Xbox headsets, and they're making the jump to PC, and that's just one more expense that you don't wanna spend. So uh, this is just kind of a workaround, way to get into it and not have to Again, spend more money, you already bought a PC, or you're already strapped for cash because you're already buying all the streaming stuff, whatever it may be. Um, it's just a nice little trick, saves you some money, saves you some time, and it's readily available usually. So, yep, just plug your Xbox controller into your PC, plug your controller or headset into your controller, good to go. It'll take a couple seconds to uh, initialize or whatever, get the device ready. But it works great, I use it all the time. Um, but let me show you how it works, and then, uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Thanks. All right guys, I'm not gonna do any kind of in-screen capture or anything crazy, I'm just gonna show it to you plain and simple. So take your cord here, we're gonna plug it into the Xbox controller. It's plugged in, let it turn on. Uh, you gotta give it a second for it to prepare the device. Um, on your X on your PC before it'll actually register um, But now once I've done that Not that one you want to go to add source. We're gonna do audio input capture. I'm just showing you this on uh, OBS just because it's easy and I'll show you Ways to do it for streaming, but you can also use it for just gaming in general, but now you can see it says uh, Xbox controller headset microphone so that gives you, it will start capturing all of your uh, voice and everything from your headset plugged in through your Xbox controller. And just so you can see, proof that it works. Ugh, take that off, close that. We're gonna cancel, try to do it again. It's definitely from that because when you pull it up again, hit new, add source. There's no Xbox controller. So, proof it works. Um, nice little workaround. Hope that helps you. So, as you can see, a uh, great little workaround. Helps you get onto a PC gaming without having to buy a whole new headset. Um, I hope this helps because I know a lot of people had a lot of money invested into their Xbox gaming headsets. And it's really hard to want to let all of that go. So, um, to those who haven't thought of it, I hope this helps. Um, to those who have thought of it and are looking for something else, let me know. Um, I'm all about trying to find easy ways to kind of work around things without having to spend a bunch of money on uh, equipment. So if you guys have any questions or any problems you're facing, um, shoot me a comment down below and uh, I'll be love I would love to give it a shot at trying to find you a workaround or maybe I already have one and I can make a video for you and hopefully solve a problem for you. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and have a great day.